chip is in your head, and you can hear the you can hear the call in your in your head. And you can see whatever's on the screen in your eyeball. Cause they got them Google glasses or whatever, the Apple glasses or whatever. And watching all that anyway, or you can watch straight through your um, you watch your cell phone or whatever through your um, through, through, through glasses. Yeah. It only makes sense. They just do it all in one one deal, one shot. Yeah. And, and in this same article, they saying that. Only the uh, cash transactions in Sweden only makes up two percent of the transact uh, of, 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 of payment transactions out yep. there, man. They already they, yep. they way further along than we are. That's the two percent of the value of all payments in Sweden is only two percent. You know, so this devil he gonna try to make the way for all the society. To, to become cashless, and which really, there's really nothing wrong with it, uh, uh, cash being done away with because it really uh, money is not supposed to be uh, 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 IOU or debt note. It's, yeah, it's not supposed to be paper right. unless there's something of value back in it. Right, but a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, the, the cash that we got today is of no value. And this is sad because money is so, if you think about what money really is, it's pretty stupid. It's the same piece of paper for all the, um, the different levels of money with different paintings or drawings and different strip in it. That's it. The strip that says 20, 50, 5, 10 or whatever that's, that they're in tells you the denomination of the money. But it's still the same cheap ass paper, the same weight, you know, no gold, nowhere on it, no real value but of the paper itself. And the, the value of that paper ain't, ain't nothing. That's why they that's why they're trying to deal with oh. all gold in them in them other countries. Uh-huh. You know? Alright, we, we we can stop trading in these paper uh, uh fiat currencies and let's deal in actual substance. Yeah. Gold is, is 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 the main substance, man. Because people are getting robbed today. If you say I do a job for somebody and I get paid in cash. Now what if I go, oh, oh I get paid in a check, let's, let's just use a check. I get paid in a check and I go to the check cashing place and they can't cash my check. I just work for free and, and my money, my payment is worthless. So when I do a job, I'm supposed to get paid by who I do the job for. I don't get an IOU, go to this people that I deal with and they'll get, no, I, you're supposed to give me what I earn, whoever I did the work for. But that shows you how confusing the society is and why this place is Babylon. Hey, but these people view this <laughs> this system. This is their their strength. This yep. is what they put their trust to. You know, yep. they put their trust in that shit. Man. And, and and another thing, just not to go far off of it, but they they trust in these women. As long as these women happy with the with the way the system's running, they they'll deal with it. They cool too. Yep. You know, that, that, you notice that kind of happens. If the women of this society are happy, then the men are, will be happy. <laughs> Because the women, the more happy these women are, the more likely or susceptible they are to deal with men. Yeah. Why wildly deal with men on, on, on some, you know, giving the man what he think he wants from this woman? Yeah. You have something? Or, um, that, was, that was it? Isaiah 32 and 9. Because all this is going to crumble. You put all your faith in this, and all of it's going to crumble. All of it's going to crumble. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. All you women that are at ease. And it's funny because we talking about just women in particular, but a lot of you men act like, like women in this society anyway. Y'all put yourselves subject to these uh, to this government just like the women do, to where you have to uh, 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 go to them for the one of all things. Where you have to ask them for help. You have to go to their doctors. You can heal yourself. At the grocery store. Okay, I'll, I'll say this: We ain't saying don't use the, 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 <laughs> no, the system. Don't don't use saying. this world. You know, you, you can use this. You know, the system if you need it. Right. If you need to. But don't don't make that your ultimate trust. Don't right. don't, don't make that your ultimate dependency, man. Know, know what uses and benefits it gives you, and don't let it rule you. Yeah, man. Don't let it rule over you. Just know, okay, I, I do. Like if you was a mountain man, if I was a mountain man up in the mountain somewhere, I'd be cool and I can grow off the land and, be, and you know build my own stuff from the trees and hunt my own food. Okay, great, but don't forget to come down here 
and still put the word out for the most high. You know, like don't put all your strength on, okay, I'm up here, I'm good. Or coming down to these uh, county buildings, getting your money or whatever you gotta do, these jobs or whatever, that's cool too. Cause you, we gotta live and we gotta eat, we gotta take care of ourselves. But that's not where your strength lies. Your strength lies in the spirit of your how by Shimmy on side, delivering them to you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know? That that's where your power really lies at. But these women ain't gonna get it. These women ain't gonna get it. Oh, I just had it too. Psalms 110. It said, uh, they shall be willing to dare thy power. Yeah, they're gonna be willing when they see this Egypt don't have no power, but then certain men have power. They're gonna be willing that in that day. But until that day, they ain't gonna get it. Go ahead. Top of that Isaiah 32, verse 9. Uh -huh. Rise up, ye women yep. that are at ease. Because a lot of the women are at ease because they're all sitting back waiting on that county check to come in, waiting on that, uh, 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 alimony and, uh, and uh, child support to come in, waiting on their section eight to clear, they section their uh, financial aid, they waiting on all these benefits, government benefits, uh, to open up for them to, to take care of them. And uh, all I gotta do is act like I don't have a man? Cool. And if the nigga ever get out of line, guess what? Hey, he over here, he ain't supposed to be over here. I didn't want him here. They have no problem telling that story to Esau. And Esau gonna side with them, or who, what kind of man you got over there? A black man? Oh, well, we be, we be right there. Keep going. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Uh -huh. Hear my voice, yep. ye careless hear, daughters. Hear the voice of the Lord. How do you hear the voice of the Lord? You hear the voice of the Lord through his prophets, the men that are on the street teaching, week in and week out, in truth and sincerity. You hear us out here teaching you. Showing you, telling you what's wrong. He's telling you, hear the voices that the men are hearing the word of the Lord that we're telling you. We're telling you the Lord said this, rise up and don't you are that are at ease, trouble is upon you. Keep reading. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear about, unto my speech. And that's talking about not, because we, we ain't talking, we, ain't, we talking about our people, man. Right. So basically we get no, the black, Hispanic, and Native American on the tribes, man. Yep. All right. We understand that you're at, you're at ease in the society because everything is is, is 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 catered to to you and your and your uh, emotions, man. Yep. Everything is about you. You go to the mall, all the stores, yep. women. You know, anywhere you go, it's it's, it's to cater to the woman. And then these men, they don't make it no better. You know. That's why the Lord said, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man. Because yep. you, you're, you're, you're careless. As long as you're comfortable, you're careless, man. You know everything is going to be straight. You know you just got it. You're going to live comfortably, you know. The Lord, gonna, he going kick to uh, kick your feet below your legs and make you flip over, man. Yep. All right. He going he gonna, to he gonna change that. Okay, because he see how comfortable you live. Yep. And how because of that comfort, you're blinded to the reality that's coming for you. That's right, man. Coming you, to destroy you. That little dosage of pleasure that you getting, it's going to backfire on you later, man. That statement where they say a, a, a moment of pleasure can call you, cause you a lifetime of pain. Yep. You getting your little dosage of pleasure now, but that shit's going to backfire on you women, man. All the hate. All of uh, uh, the wickedness that, you, that you've been doing, living carelessly, sleeping from man to man, okay, treating your husband like shit, like he don't mean nothing, keeping him away from your children, acting like he's not a, 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 a significant uh, a, a, a role of power in your, in, in your child's life, okay, acting like fatherhood is not important. Yeah, it's only important. You feel like you can take it on yourself? Hey, women feel like fatherhood is only important if, 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 if husbandry is important. Like, they'd rather you be a husband to them and, and they'll take care of the kids. Like, you're not an integral part of, of making sure boy or girl grow up the right way. The girls need to see a strong man so they can choose a strong man when they grow up. And the men need to see, the young boys need to be to see a strong man so they can have a model to grow up after. 
they're actually more important that a man raise the children than a woman because you ain't gonna have all that emotional decision making in them children anymore. And they're gonna learn some type of skill or trade, even if it's a manly skill or trade, they're gonna learn that. And they're better off knowing those things, how to shoot a gun, how to chop wood, than just how to put on makeup and comb hair. And a lot of you women are failing at that basic motherly instinct stuff. Teaching your daughters now how to be harlots rather than how to be uh, de uh, uh, devoted wives. They don't comb their own hair. Right, and they you don't comb your hair. You, you'd rather buy weave and rock your natural. You make your natural glisten like you got soul glowing. You, you make your daughters to be lazy like you. Yep. You don't have any wifely, valuable uh, uh, traits or, or should I say skills yep. that all women are supposed to have sufficient enough to, uh, to, to raise children. Hey, these women don't even really know how to cook well. They microwave and shit for these kids, man. And they wonder why the obesity rate is out of control. Lunchables. And why they have health, health, yeah, health, health issues and everything else. Lunchables and When they finally do cook, they only know how to cook uh, collard greens and ham hocks, you know, and ham and shit like that. All that slavery and chitlins and shit like that. Mac and cheese, just, just the stuff that the kids don't need. They need healthy food on a consistent basis. And they don't need an abundance of it. They just need enough to nourish their bodies. Yep. They don't need big lavish spreads like, like Thanksgiving meals every Sunday. They need just a, a consistent meal. So some, some women would argue the point of, oh, it's expensive to cook every night. It's expensive to pay health care bills also. Yep. And, and then they, they also are careless about the fact that when they, when, they, when they get pregnant, when they have these babies, they don't even try to have a, a a healthy diet for the sake yeah. of the child, man. Right. Because because the, the diet, the, the the food that you eat, that you intake during pregnancy affects what type of uh, uh, health elements that yep. child is going to develop Some when, when, still it, when, smoke when he or she grows. Still smoke weed. Yeah. Still drink alcohol. Even though all the studies are out there about not doing those That's things right. doing while pregnant. Still popping pills or whatever else. That's what happened to my little cousin. Not, not, not. Now they have these things. Now they'll, they'll trust in prenatal, but I'm taking my prenatal vitamins. There's food that you can eat to get the same and better nutrients than in them, them damn vitamins. Yep. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Bro. Oh, I said that's, uh, that's what happened to my little cousin. Yep. If you gonna say it, say it out to the camera. Uh, that's what happened to my little cousin. Her, uh, my auntie was smoking weed and all that stuff, and now he, uh, oh, slow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, they, they ain't eat nothing with, with nutritional value, man. Yep. You know, you eating a bunch of sugar and processed food. Yep. You know, uh, shit that you just pop in the microwave. Mark McDonald's. And you ain't fast balancing. Food. Yeah, you just eat bullshit, and then you wonder why your child come come out with defects or or, or ADD or something. Or oh, yeah. Attention deficit disorder and so on and so forth, man. Yep. Can't sit, look, they don't know how to take, if the kids are, any kid from the age of three to shit, all the way up in life, they need to be out running and burning off energy. They, kids, that's why there's recess at school, because kids burn that energy off. Now they can sit down and listen and learn. But when you ain't, when you're just putting a, a, a video game controller or an iPad in front of them, that ain't burn off the physical energy. Yeah, that'll mentally tire them out. But they ain't letting them burn off the physical energy. They still have that. It's That's a, why they acting out and doing bad fire, shit. Man. Right, it's a pacifier. And what, what? A pacifier basically fakes like you're feeding a child, make the baby think they're getting fed without actually feeding them. Yep. It's the same thing. Kids at the younger age need to be shown positive things and, uh, and, uh, and build them up physically. Hey, I'll say this. And you can get to, you can finish on yeah. the scripture, so we don't care too yeah, right, long. Right. But now the topic like, fits. if you raising, if you raising like say for instance little boys, right, little male uh, yeah. sons, when you you notice how women, if it's just a single household, it's just a woman, right? She's always uh, upset, and she's always screaming, telling them to calm it down or sit down, and they gotta constantly remind, uh, uh, say it over and over, and they get frustrated. And they start screaming on them and cussing them out. I told you to be quiet. I told you to sit down. Stop, stop doing this. Stop jumping off the bed. Stop doing that. Yep. 
these are they they're male shit. Uh, males, they sons. Yeah, they're boys. They're boys. They got they're full of energy, man. Yep. The park should be a That's little bit That's their boy's nature, man. They they're rough. They they got a they got a lot of energy that they have to burn. And instead yep. of screaming on them, why don't you take them outside or take them to the park yep. and let them burn that energy? Yep. Instead of screaming on them and, and telling them every second, to, you know, yep. shut the fuck up, sit down. Sit down. Because you don't get good Wi-Fi. Go, go get in the bed. Go take a nap. Because your, your, your cell phone signal ain't as good at the park. And because it, cause yeah, you can't man. watch Maury Povich at the park. Yeah, because she want to be comfortable. Yeah. She want to be comfortable and, and lazy. You know? Wonder why these kids come out to be little ass monsters. That's right, man. You keep these little boys trapped in their room and they can't go nowhere. They can't see nothing, experience yep. nothing, and you, learn nothing. You know, can't learn nothing. And that's pretty much how, especially the black woman. That's exactly how she operates in her household, man. Hey, I'm gonna tie it in a little deeper. And Esau showed them how to do that because yep. they keep us trapped in the ghettos and we can't get out and experience and do nothing. Nothing new. Like when we have pools in the ghetto, they always drain to this one that's always messed up. Somebody break a bottle and ruin the pool for two weeks out of that blazing hot summer or whatever. And we always mess it up. You saw always find a way to mess it up when we can't really experience nothing in the hood. But a woman perpetuating the same thing. She perpetuates the fact that, that these kids are still trapped inside the inside the room or in the house. They won't as young men. As little boys all the way up to men, we want to be outside breathing and running and, and, and letting off energy and, and talking loud. Because that's the nature of men. That's what men do. Women are supposed to be all quiet, silent, and docile. When we watch sport events, we're supposed to be, yeah, team go, whatever else. Women ain't supposed to be doing that shit. You know? Isaiah 32 and 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Many days and years are you going to be troubled for all the shit that you've been doing, but in particularly for the lazy ways that you've been and not being with the Heavenly Father. Keep going. Ye careless women. You careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The vintage shall fail. All the Section 8, all the comforts, all the TV shows, all the money and all of that stuff that you thought was taking care of you, having a, a independent, you independent women, all that's going to fail and fall. People going to run in your house and take your food that was for your kids, probably kill your kids, rape you and kill you, and they're going to eat good. That's what's coming. That's what this Bible's telling you is coming. So you better rise and, 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 be, and stop being careless about the Heavenly Father coming back, especially if you're a Negro, Latino, or Native American woman or man. Because if you're a man in a, in a woman like state of mind, the Lord is going to get you too. Finish that off right quick. Yeah, no more weaves. Yep. No more weaves and feminism for you black women. Yep. And that day, feminism is going to be out of, out of there. And, 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 and the, 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 <laughs> the, the uh, salons, yep. the beauty supplies, out of there. Okay? Yep. And that goes to Instagram, out of there. Yep, that goes Facebook. to Facebook. Facebook, out of there. Twitter. And that goes to Twitter. Isaiah the third chapter. When you read that third chapter of Isaiah, especially the, the latter end of it, it's telling you how bad it's going to flip on these women. And even you men that's going to fall, that was upholding these old, old slut-ass women, they gonna, you're going to get thrust through too or sent off to the war. Either way, you ain't coming back to defend these women when the time gets rough. Yeah, all your delicacies, one more person, man. Right? You careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women uh -huh. that are at ease. Yep. Be Tremble ye women that are at ease. Bad times are coming. And you ain't gonna have no help to help you. Let alone having a decent man to help you. If that man don't know your house by outside, it's a rep for you. Huh. It's a rep for you. So tremble and be not at ease. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled. Ye careless ones, yep. strip you and make you bare and strip girth all socket. the bull ass out of your out of your life and, and put and put on real real uh said gird up to yourself Girl. sackcloth cloth, right and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, the basics of, of who you what you your necessities of what you should be heaping towards yourself, skills and reasons that a man will appreciate you in those dire times that's coming. 
Because if he, a man don't need you, he gonna get rid of you. Because women gonna be flocking with and women with skills and, 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 a, and a real spirituality about them is the one in sincerity for that man and them children is the only one that's gonna, gonna be uh, left in that day. Men are only gonna wanna deal with them type of women. All of you old, old internet sluts or whatever else you're doing, nobody gonna care about y'all. Your looks is all gonna fail. You're just gonna be raped food, man. That's it. Men are just gonna be taking it. Niggas gonna be raping. Straight up. Like the troops, the military troops, yep. that they gonna be having out here, they gonna have they gonna have the time look, of their life. Look at them titties, I want them. Hell yeah. They gonna put the gun in your head, take you to the barracks, lay it, lay it down on you. Cause they know a, the average American woman is a is a slut. She's yep. just a piece of meat. Yep. And she she projects herself as such all throughout social media. So yep. all these troops that's gonna be here, they that's all they gonna see is yep. meat. All right? Exactly right. That was it, huh? Oh, oh I have something. Um yeah, I have. Oh, oh, oh Michael 7 and 10. <laughs> Then shall she that is mine enemy see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Yep. You know, all you that 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 don't believe in this, cause the vintage ain't quite collapsed, you gonna be where where is the Lord thy power? Where where does God you talking about? When is he coming? When is the Lord gonna come? You talking all this shit, when is it gonna happen? And then when that vintage begin to fail, that's when you're gonna be willing in the day of our power. Yep. And it says, Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down at the mire in the, of the streets, at the yep. slime and, and sludge and grime in the streets. You don't get beat your ass, get your ass beat down like that. You don't get your head chopped off for not coming correct. Because you're going to be worthless. That's what's going to happen to you women. That's what's going to happen. Yep. Thus said the Bible. All that pride, that shit going to leave, man. Yep. All right? It's going to leave. And we hate, we hate doing